Hey guys, here's my video to show you how to set up your 100 watt uh, Windy Nation solar panel. It's really, really easy. Uh, behind me here, there is where the panel actually is. So I'm going to cut here and take you into that to show you how it's set up. So coming back around, here's my wires again, and here's that liquid tape, nice and focused on there for you. And if we move up, Here's our solar panel. Again, as I said, this is a Windy Nation panel. Uh, these are the wires coming out. When you buy this, it's gonna come with some MC4 connections that would be about right there, where you see that lump. Uh, I don't have those on here anymore because I broke mine, so don't break yours. Um, <laughs> it'd be a lot easier to work with if I, if I hadn't have broken those. But what I did was I just uh, connected them through a butt connector, used my liquid tape, which is, we can see in here, I'm not sure I can focus, sure can't. Uh, the liquid tape just works really well, it's perfectly waterproof. The only thing I'm not getting with the liquid tape that I would be getting with the MC4 is I can't connect and disconnect with the ease that MC4 would give me. But it's, it's all waterproof and good to go. Now before uh, I started recording this, I actually did all my wires. Here they are down here. And you can see the liquid tape on the ends, uh, securing them, making them waterproof. They're all color coded. They're coded according to their terminal as well. So now I'm going to actually connect them. Okay, here we are. We've got it connected in parallel. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected because that guy over there needs to be filled up. Let me walk around to the other side so you can get a different view. All right, so as we can see, red to red to red, black to black to black. That's positive to positive, negative to negative. So we are ready to connect to this guy. And that's our controller. So we can see we've got green on the solar side, red on the battery side. That means it's just not connected. And then nothing on the energy side. A uh, little tidbit about this controller. Uh, we're not gonna connect anything to that energy side because it's really only for very low, vo low voltage LED lights. And uh, you know we're just not gonna power anything like that. So next step is to connect our batteries. So I'll walk back around. And here we go. At the end of our battery, we do not have a terminal. That is because, let's see if you can see in here. These spaces are very, very small. So, uh, get a better look in there. Those are all open right now. So we can stick that end of the wire I just showed you right in there and then we screw it down. When you screw it down a little thing shuts from the top and the top is on the left right now down. So that's how we'll connect that. Okay so we're done. Uh, these two I'm just going to follow them down come out from this terminal to that. So essentially what we've got here is a battery array three 12 volt, volt batteries uh, parallel connected in an array which gives us uh, three times their amp hours each one of them as you can see here has 35 amp hours so that times three gives us 105 amp hours there's your math lesson for the day um, and we're done so let me come back around and I'll show you what we're looking at on the controller Bam. So, solar side, green, it's good. Battery side, green, that's good. Now, here's a caveat. When we look at these batteries here, that one on the far right is different. That's because I had that guy set up by himself a while back. Let me get some more light in there. 
I let him die overnight. So what's actually happening right now is the battery is being charged. So what that green light means on this particular charger is that the battery is good, you can use it, but it's not fully charged. It'll be fully charged when that green light is flashing. If it's red, that means it's totally died on you and you need to pretty much charge it up now. So that's essentially it. The only other thing you have to do is invert the power. And my inverter over here is pretty simple. Here now he's in focus. It comes with basically jumper cables. So we would just connect that to red and black to black and we'd be good to go. I'll go ahead and do that. I have to put my phone down because I need two hands. Um, and just show you what it looks like for this inverter. Okay, now here on the end, we've got our little jumper cable style clamps attached to the end of our battery array. We have space for another battery if we ever, you know, want to spend another 75 bucks on a new battery. Um, and we're pretty much done. So I'm going to clean my workstation here and show you the inside of this. Uh, and sort of the thoughts on it and how it's going to function for the long haul. So that's what I've been working on for this entire video. I want to take this as a wide shot just to give you a sense of scale. Now a lot of people uh, might think that I'm doing this uh, big solar thing here to maybe save money or I don't know uh, what because you know I've got this garden here and, and all of this stuff and it's nice and we, we grow a lot of our own stuff um, and we've got our chickens over here see where they are not sure you can see them but all of this stuff um, is not really money saving stuff um, this whole setup here uh, probably ran about 250 to 300 dollars when you take into account all of the wood, the panel, the batteries, all of that, which really comes out cheap. Uh, because all we're doing right now is powering a heat lamp, that is almost never going to pay for itself, not with all the maintenance and everything we'll have to do. So, why did we do it? Well, I'll turn around. There was no electrical anywhere near here. This is our chicken area and compost area and all of that good stuff we would have had to pay someone to come run electrical out of this little garage here into our chickens and there's our heat lamp instead of paying the 300 bucks that would have done taken to get the electrician out of here we spent 300 bucks to do it ourselves and we decided to do it ourselves with a renewable resource. And here's our little line that's going back for our solar panel. So, in that sense, this is cost effective. So, let me show you how this ends up. Again, there's our panel. The sun is right over there. So, we get really, really good sunlight no matter what time of the year here. The angle's good. And then we have the finished product, uh, except for my screwdriver and some terminal connectors. So this little setup right here, just simple 2x4s, plywood, and 2x2s. Uh, you can see we cut an angle off of our plywood there. And then we reuse that angle right here. Uh, and what that did was gave us this nice hole so we can send all of our wires through to chicken coop or you know let's say there's a hurricane or something send it right into the house so that's it that's how you do it um yeah i hope this is informative please have any questions or comments in the comment section thank you